What is going on guys? It's Jake, back with another Beyblade Burst unboxing. This time, I'm not unboxing a Beyblade. No, no, I'm not unboxing a Beyblade. I'm actually unboxing the brand newly released, I don't even think this is like released, I got this on ToysRUs.com, but I haven't seen this anywhere else, and I, when I saw it on Toys R Us, I was just like, whoa, hey. But I saw this on Toys R Us, and it is the Beyblade Burst Evolution Dual Threat Launcher. Look at that. That looks sick as heck. Let's get right into the unboxing. So, first, taking a look at the box, we do see the front of the box, which has the Dual threat launcher, really, really big on the package, just like the Super Grip launcher was. And what's cool and what I like about these packages um, that they do for their launchers is that it's always in a box instead of having some part of it showing, which kind of reminds me of Sakaratomi a little bit. But on the front, you do see the launcher. It, it does say dual threat launcher, which means that it can spin both left and right. There's just a little switch at the bottom of the launcher. And this is a string launcher, which is pretty awesome that they're actually releasing a string launcher that's not like a part of the kit or something. And by the way guys, this was only $10, not including shipping, on ToysRUs.com, which means that this is going to be like 10 bucks, maybe $11 at Toys R Us, which is a really, really good price. Without further ado, let's unbox this bad boy. And wha-bam guys, here we go, Hasbro Beyblade Burst Evolution Dual Threat Launcher left and right spin. Oh, this is really, really exciting. I can't wait to open this thing up and to test it for you guys. But one last little look at the box, you know, the side, you do see kind of, there's the switch where you can switch it left and right. And it has, you know, where this is where you pull it, obviously. And anyway, let's open this thing up. Boom, just like that, that's actually it. You know, here's the instruction manual, you don't need it, just pull the ripcord. <laughs> wow, that is awesome. Now there's actually a couple of interesting things on this, so... So first up, we have the QR code, which I'm gonna let you guys scan really quick, just so we can get that out of the way. Alright, and then next... Oh, it's actually kind of upside down. And then here's the switch to turn it to left and right, and you can't just pull the switch, there's actually this little, like, tab right here, that you pull it, you can move the switch up, and then boom, push it back in, and there you go. You have it all set for your spins. Now, there are a couple of pretty interesting things about this. First of all, it looks like it has ports, kind of for you to connect the old Beyblade Burst launchers, which I'm gonna test out here in a second. And it also has this one, which seems pretty unique, actually. Because if you look, it's actually like, different than all of them. I'm not really sure. I don't really know if you go on this besides like a grip. So maybe they'll release a grip. That'd be pretty awesome. Alright, so when trying to connect a couple of things, I have the old burst launcher here and I also have the new Hasbro Switch Strike launcher, which is pretty awesome. I highly recommend this launcher. But let's kind of see what can connect to these ports. So there's one kind of like empty one right here and then one like male side so let's see all right so that can connect just like that let's see this one uh this one might be able to go like this all right yeah that can connect right here and okay i can't just leave it like this give me, give me a second boom son look at this look at this thing this thing is freaking awesome Ooh, that's that sounds nice Listen to this, guys. Yeah, that sounds real nice. Hmm. Alright, I think it's time to do a couple of test launches. Alright, guys, so, boom! For this test, we are going to be using, for left spin, Nightmare Longinus, and for right spin, Sieg Excalibur. So, let's see how this goes. Let's see how much power we can get with the launcher. So for this first test battle, we're going to be using Sieg Excalibur on the right spin. So let's see how this goes. Three, two, one, let it. Not bad, and I didn't even I didn't even launch it that hard. Let's uh let's do it one more time, but actually try to launch it. Three, two, one, let it. 
That's not bad, guys. That is not bad at all. So let's swap it to its left spin mode and try out Nightmare Longinus. Three, two, one, let it. Hmm, not too crazy on that one. Let's do it one more time. All right, guys, so reporting on left spin, I'm kind of having problems here. I tried to use Longinus and it would just kind of shoot like this or something like it was not on the launcher right. So I've had problems with my Longinus before, but using Fafnir, which I've never had problems with before, watch. This is on, it's on it all the way. It won't, it won't launch. It won't even come off the launcher. What the heck? I don't, I'm not sure what this, what's going on here. Did my launcher just, just break? Just like that? What the heck? Guys, oh, there, what? Um, it, it looks like it got jammed. You saw that, I couldn't even pull it. And so I kind of like messed with this a little bit and then I finally was able to get it out. Let's see if maybe I was just having a little like bug with it. I really hope it's fine guys. What, what's going on? Let's try right spin one more time. Yeah, um, I'm really sorry to report guys, but this, this launcher is, this launcher is dead. Um, if you guys want, I can maybe try to keep using this launcher, see how it goes, and then maybe do another update video on it, or maybe in the next battle that I do, I'll try to just use this launcher, and if I can't use it because it just keeps breaking or busting, whatever it's happening, I'll let you guys know, but for right now, I definitely would stay on the fence with this launcher because it's 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 really weird and it's not acting how it should. I don't know what's going on, but it definitely was kind of disappointing. But anyways, guys, I'll just wrap up the video there. If you enjoyed, please leave a like down below and hit that subscribe button. And if you want to see a full review on this, whenever I can kind of use it more and tell you if it's actually like busted or crappy or not, let me know in the comments below. But I'll see you guys next time. Have fun and bay away.